Hey, this is Matt with Two Feet Two Worlds, and today I'm at another cemetery. As many of you may know, I'm allowed out now. It's been about seven weeks since I've been allowed to go outside freely, so I'm taking advantage of this situation and I'm gonna go exploring. Where I am is out in the countryside near farmland. You can see these trees right here, this tree line. When I look from my balcony, I can see tree lines all around me. Nine times out of 10, these tree lines have a cemetery in them. Here, everywhere, there's prickly pear cactus. They got some pretty flowers. This yellow flower kind of looks like a rose in a way. All the ants are in there, it's probably a lot of nectar. And then you have these fruits. It's kind of a purplish, reddish fruit. It's the uh, prickly pear fruit. You can actually eat those, it tastes pretty good. I'll always refer to Hainan as the Florida of China. There's just so many similarities between Florida and Hainan. It's ridiculous. Like the beaches, the palm trees, even the prickly pear. Here's a pretty ornate grave area for a family most likely. There's five graves here and it looks like there's room for another two right over here. I don't know if that's the family name right there might be, but also over here, it looks like family names, accomplishments, stuff like that. Pretty ornate. Over here, uh, you can see these are bald eagles with the Great Wall of China. I didn't know bald eagles uh, were found in China. I don't even think they are. I'm pretty sure they're not, but uh, on this piece of artwork, they are portrayed as being here. All right, my bike's here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this path up. See if there's anything else over here. Well, look at that. That looks like World War II. Something from World War II. Just in the middle of this cornfield here. That looks like a World War II bunker or a pillbox. That's definitely what I think it is. You can see the four holes along the outside here. And I'm definitely gonna go inside, so we'll take a look at it in a second. Let's go up to the door. All right, so there's a low door in the front here. And it looks like it could have been latched from the outside and there's two places where the hinges would go right here. And then it looks like a, a kind of a square right there where it could be shut. Anyway, it's concrete. I don't know if there's any brick there, but it looks like somebody may use this as a place to sleep in. There's the four holes, one, two, three, and four. Storing some stuff in here. It's got like a, kind of an arch ceiling in a way. Comes up to a point. And these four holes, that's north, and that's south. So these are like southeast and northeast. This is east, so. Let's crawl a little bit further in. Looks like there's some graffiti on the wall here. Just goes to show you, no matter where you go, there's graffiti. If it's old and it's run down. Some rebar showing right there. And it looks like each window has its own kind of mount looking thing on it. See all four of them? I'm wondering if this was a mount for a machine gun or something like that, or if there was a window covering it. But you can see this is looking north, northeast here, out into the cornfield. You can see there's kind of a texture on the outside of the wall, like boards were placed to make the structure maybe. So the pillbox is here, the cemetery is over there, and that's where I came from right there.
here's a lone grave out here. Most likely it was someone who wasn't married and died young and was buried out here because they died away from home. Chinese culture, if you die away from home, you don't really get to be buried next to your family. Here's a big grave site. It's like a big family. I'm gonna count them and see how many people there are, but it's a big area, all of this area. Looks like, looks like there are 16 people here just lined up. Just realized this now, but there's actually some graves in this area here. It's just so overgrown. It's hard to see them. Looks like at least one, maybe two that are in this walled off area. It's kind of surprising to me because usually this stuff is cleaned out during Qingming festival, which is tomb sweeping day. You've probably heard of it. Usually it's early April. Sometimes it falls on my birthday, April 6th. I'd like to possibly do a video on that in the future. There's so many different graves around here. It'd probably be pretty easy to come out here on one of those days and see what people are doing. I see a lot of these pits dug around here. Uh, the sand is dug out and I believe it's being used for concrete to mix the concrete to kind of make the graves to like fix them up stuff like that There's where I just came from and I noticed there was a Solar-powered object over here, which I thought was pretty strange because I'm out in the countryside, but I want you guys to hear this It's in the shape of a lotus flower and it sounds like it's chanting something, maybe for uh, Buddhism. Not gonna lie, it kind of creeped me out because I heard voices and I walked over here to see what it was and that's what I found. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just chanting constantly as like a constant prayer, uh, maybe for something with Buddhism. I'm not sure, but if you know, uh, leave it down in the comments leave the reason down in the comments. I'd really like to know what that's for. Little guard statue. Looks like some people were hanging out over here, maybe having a dinner or came to clean off the graves or something and just chilled out for a little bit. It's just four blocks in a circle here and some chopsticks on the ground. So I saw another area a little further back. I'm gonna go grab my bike and head over to the other area. But don't worry, I'll bring you guys with me. I was coming down this road and there is what looks to be another building over there. I'm gonna go check it out. I also found some baby goats that are letting me pet them. They're so small. Just three little baby goats right here. Hey little guys. Well, I got some exploring to do. You guys can go back to eating, I guess. Cemetery's right over there. The building's right here. Not too far from the pillbox bunker. It's on the back side, it is made of brick. And it looks to be pretty old. Definitely at least World War II old. It's got these like flanged edges outside that kind of lean outwards. And then the door is right here. 
it's very thick walls. You can see right here. It's got at least four hinges holding the door up. This is not the original door. I'm guessing there were some other doors on here. It's being used. There's this long channel that goes the whole length of the building. Don't know what that was used for, if that's like artillery or... I have no clue what this building was used for though. I'm gonna see if I can ask around and get an answer though. There's a canteen, a couple of canteens. Get those in a military surplus store here. These are all bamboo poles that are being used for uh, green beans, growing green beans, stuff like that. And then these bigger poles in the back are used for uh, construction. But yeah, there's these channels at certain areas in the room. This one goes all the way back, like I was saying. It looks like the other ones do too. And then there's these big support beams going up to the ceiling to provide the structure some support. There are six of them. And big hooks, these big iron hooks in the ceiling. And it does look like there are some markings, like graffiti. I don't know what it means, but there's graffiti on the poles. There's some more here. It almost looks like they're markings. Denoting kills or tally marks or something. There's actually a bat in the corner. I don't know if you can see it. It's so dark in here that the bats come in here. There's one flying around. Here's some more graffiti over here. Very cool. All right, let's head back out. I talked to a man who was here and he did say it was from World War II. I still don't know what it, uh, what it was used for. I got some of the words he used and I'm gonna ask some people, uh, but he told me there possibly are some other buildings, at least that's what I thought he was saying to me, was there are some more buildings down this way. So I'm gonna check it out and see if I can find more. I'll have to go back to the cemetery another time. This is just too cool. Here's kind of that area I was talking about. There's a wall that curves inwards this way, and then the actual structure is behind it. So this comes out at the front. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's to provide some protection from bombardment or something, not sure. It looks like he was right. There's another building here, right behind this cornfield, next to the beetle nut trees. Bing Lang, beetle nut. Here's the building. It looks to be built similarly, if not the same. It looks to be a little smaller, not as tall, but it has the same front that spreads out on the sides. Same type of doors here. This looks to be a little wider though. And there's actually two sets of doors it looks like. Looks like this is where another door went. So there's like two sets of doors that would close this area in. My guess it would have to be like a, a magazine type of thing where they kept ammunition. 
the bean poles again. I don't know how far we're going to be able to go in for you guys to be able to see stuff, but there are two rooms off to the side with a hole up at the ceiling. The other one's over here. So to the right and left, as you enter, there are other rooms. This one goes all the way back, straight down the middle. And then these two side ones also go all the way back. So the two side ones are bigger. The middle one is about half the size. And then you have a big walkway kind of entrance. I wish I had a flashlight, but these are very, looks like there are bats in here. <laughs> I can see them flying around. I don't know if you can see that flash up there, but it looks like I'm in a room with bats. <laughs> I didn't know it. So I'm gonna go ahead and step outside. <laughs> Looks to be some sort of box, like an inset into the wall. And it looks like there were places where electricity wires came through. Not sure if this was like a mechanism so the door could open or what, but there it is. And just look at the brickwork. It's very straight, very exact. Uh, it's pretty, pretty crazy. It looks like they went long ways like right here on this level. And then they just turned it on its side going this way. And they just alternately did that all the way up. But very exact and very precise and pretty strong, I'm sure. Well, uh, that was quite the adventure. I'm very glad I went out today, looked around. Never thought I'd find something like this out here. I mean, I found the World War II airfield, but had no clue that there were other buildings out here. If you want to see the World War II airfield and the control tower and all that, I'm going to post the link in the upper right-hand corner right about now. And you can check that video out after this one. It goes to show you that the more you explore, the more you'll find. I'm super excited I got to show you guys this today. And I'm almost more excited at the idea that I get to go out and explore some more here soon. So yeah, that's it for today's video. If you like what you've seen, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click the like button if you liked it. Uh, click the dislike button if you didn't like it. That's fine too. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.